breaking news tonight. The CDC now says that the Omicron variant is the most common coronavirus variant here in the U.S., accounting for nearly three quarters of the cases. Thanks for joining us, everybody. I'm Rod Carter. And I'm Maggie Newland. State health officials expect the Omicron variant to lead to new records when it comes to COVID-19 cases here in North Carolina. Our Capitol reporter, Michael Highland, is live in Raleigh. And Michael, mm -hmm. some hospitals are already strained. Right, and we are likely heading toward another surge of cases. I talked with an expert here in Raleigh today who's leading a team advising the CDC about the spread of COVID-19, and she's worried. All right, one, two, three. An urgent plea. If you're eligible for a booster, get one right away. Governor Roy Cooper and state health officials are warning the Omicron variant of COVID-19 could have a major impact soon. The newest variant of COVID-19, Omicron, is the most contagious we've seen yet and will likely set record high daily case numbers in the coming weeks. We hope it's not gonna be those dire situations, but um, I'm, I'm worried. Dr. Julie Swan is a health systems expert at NC State that's worked with the team to project Omicron's impact. They say the number of people in the hospital could be two and a half to six times higher than our previous peak if more people don't get booster shots. Even if disease is milder, because it is so transmissible and there's a large pool of people who are susceptible to it, it could lead to uh, a hospital system that's overwhelmed. How likely is that, do you think, at this point? We've looked at many different scenarios on what can happen. In most of these scenarios, there is a large hospitalization surge. She says greater use of masks could also reduce that impact significantly. What will happen depends on a lot of things, including the behaviors that individuals and communities take over the coming days. State health officials are urging people get tested before gathering for the holidays and only travel if you're fully vaccinated and have the booster shot if you're eligible. Perfect. Good job. Dr. Swan said we could see that surge in the hospitals as soon as mid-January. It could be pushed into February if people take more precautions now, such as getting the booster shots or their initial vaccinations. Live in Raleigh, Michael Highland, CBS 17 News.